Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the temp sensor on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a pair of wire strippers and crimpers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So if you can pull it out far enough to unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Then our next step will be to remove all of the items that are in the freezer. So we'll start by pulling out the drawer and removing those items. Now with the drawer and the baskets removed from the refrigerator, we now have access to that temp sensor, which is located in the upper right rear corner on this model. Now there's a little plastic cover over that sensor housing. And by using a flat blade screwdriver, we can go into that slotted opening, pry that little plastic tab back, and we can lift that assembly forward. Now if you feel that there's enough wire there for you to cut and splice the new sensor in, you can do that without removing the rear cover. But if you find that it's a little tight, you can take that evaporator cover off, but first we'd have to take these side rails off. There are three quarter inch hex edge screws on each of those. Once we take those out, those rails will come completely out of the way, and then we can remove the evaporator cover. So we're going to remove three quarter inch hex edge screws on each of these side rails. And then we'll just set those aside. The same for the opposite side. Now if your model is equipped with an ice maker, you would need to remove that next, as well as the wire harness connection to the back. Now our next step will be to remove this rear air grill. And we will need a flat blade screwdriver in the top outside opening on either side there's a little plastic tab just depress that towards the center now as you pry that tab back just lift that grill away from the back panel both sides And then pop it off. Now next we'll remove this little cover on the temp sensor. Just take a flat blade screwdriver, go into that opening, pry the tab back, hinge it, and let it hang there. So next we'll remove the four quarter inch hex head screws, one in each corner. Now we can tilt that panel forward. We'll need to tuck that sensor up through that opening. We'll also disengage this portion of the ice maker harness adapter. Now with that evaporator cover tucked down out of the way, that should give us enough access to remove that temp sensor from that housing. Just pop it out of those two little clips. Look through the opening, set the cover aside, and then we'll cut that harness as close to the old sensor as possible. So you have enough room to splice in the new one. Now we've removed the evaporator cover to make it easier to show you how to change this sensor. So we'll dislodge it from its housing, just snap it out of the little clips. Remove it. And then we'll cut the 
bolt sensor off as close to the sensor as possible. And we need to separate those leads. You may need a utility knife to just put a little cut on the end of that. And then using our wire strippers, we'll peel back about a, oh, about three eighths of an inch of the insulation. Use caution that we don't cut into any of the copper wire. And then just twist those strands together. It makes it nice and tight. Well, next we'll take the new sensor and we'll trim off most of that wire. We don't need all of that on there, just enough that we can splice it together. And again, we'll need to make a little slice in the end. 